Hey guys, looking to become a level three guard in the state of Texas? Well, let me inform you first that you must take level two. There is no passing level two. You got to do level two before doing level three. They used to be a level one. They did away with that in February 2010. It's abolished. So level two is the first course. It's an online course, okay? Self-paced. You can use your phone, tablet, laptop, or computer. It's six hours. After you complete level two, you'll take a 50 multiple choice exam. 75 is passing. You'll receive a training certificate on a PDF format in the email along with instructions on how to upload that to the state's website. You have to upload that directly to TOPS, the Private Security Bureau for Texas DPS. You upload that. We'll give you instructions on how to go, the whole process work every step of the way. Well, now level three. New rules and regulation as of September 1st, 2023, House Bill 3424, okay, was effective. And it's basically relating to the eligibility training requirements for commission security officers and personal protection officers. Beginning January 1st, 2024, requires that self-defense tactics are included as part of the basic training course for commission security officers and personal protection officers. Right? And a handgun proficiency as well as a self-defense course must be completed in person with an on-site instructor approved by the department or original renewing applications for commission. Now, so that means this, let's go back. If you're taking level three for the first time, you could do part of the class online and the other part could be in person. Now, the state says a minimum of 10 to 15 hours of so in-person training, which, which can include self-defense, defensive tactics, uh, handcuffing, how to use a baton and fire and proficiency, knowing how to safely storage a, a weapon as well, you know, using a weapon, okay? And but it, the course of using a weapon in the firing range and all the proper steps. So that's gonna be required by the state, okay? And all hours will be documented to make sure you are in compliance regarding the matter. Now, for individuals that's going to renew their license in a, after January 1st, they're going to have to adhere to the state's ruling regarding uh, taking a Minnesota Multifaceted Personality Inventory Test, which is called the MMPI. This is pretty much the same uh, test that law enforcement peace officers take to become peace officers. It's a series of questions they ask you. Uh, uh, can't go over every question, but you can look it up on Google. There's a lot of information on it. Uh, you have to see a psychiatrist, and you're going to have to get this form, this declaration form. Uh, this is a copy of it. You can get it on the state's website. It's called, it's a PSB uh, 13. A psychiatrist has to fill it out, and they have to put their medical license number in regards to the, uh, the certificate, and they have to upload it to the state's website too as well. So, and it also says here that they verify that all information is correct and that they're not, uh, you know, basically submitting something that's incorrect to the gut state because they, they get criminally prosecuted too. So please look at the form. There'll be a link on relations to everything in the description. All right. Now, the actual law states that it's effective on January 1st, 2024. I also have a caption of the law for you to review. All right. Now, if you're interested in taking the level three 45 hour course, please know that this course is an entire week long course. It's not a one day course. It's really like Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. You could do it online, you could do it in person. It's like I said earlier, it's not a one day course, okay? There's a lot of material to cover to make sure you have the knowledge, skills, and ability of being an armed commission security officer in the state of Texas. Please note, you must have completed level two training before taking level three, all right? Do not fill out an application. If you saw this video, you understand I told you, you have to have level two before you take level three, okay? Because you're not gonna be enrolled into level three class if you don't show proof that you are level two certified, okay? And, and active in the system, all right? It's required by the Texas DPS Private Security Bureau. All right, now, just to go over a few things regarding the course itself and what it contains, all right, the following. Laws pertinent to the security officer, field notes and report writing, crime scene, 
awareness skills, use of force, conflict resolution, defensive tactics, uh, handcuffing, uh, firearm, and ass baton. So basically, uh, defensive tactics, handcuffing, and firearm, and ass baton, that would be an in-person class, uh, 10 to 15 hours. The state requires a minimum of 10 to 15 hours, okay? That's basically what the state's required, 10 to 15 hours in regards to that. The other part, of course, could be done online or in person. The whole thing could be done all 45 hours in person, but everything has to be monitored, all right? The cost uh, also includes your gun range entry fee. So when you pay for the class with us, it includes your gun range entry fee for participating in the course itself. So application link is below the description of this video, as well as a payment link for the class itself, okay? Now, if you need more information regarding the contents of what's required, level3securitytraining.com, you go to that link. It has a video explaining everything in its entirety. And I'm just going to go over one more thing with you, but the state says again, level three course, a minimum of 45 hours, and the test includes a, a course of fire. It's required for all commissioned security officers and personal protection officers. This training must be administered by a licensed level three training school and taught by a level three instructor. Well, we're licensed as a training school as well, and we have licensed instructors for level three and level four too as well. All right, the demonstration of firearm proficiency must be completed within 90 days of the application date. Certain peace officers may be exempt per TAC 35.141B, that's in the state's ruling, if you're looking for immediate work, please hit the link below. There's a link below the description. Who's hiring? Security Guard Training of Houston, Texas. License number F01243. We're located at 801 Travis Street, Suite 2101, Houston, Texas, 7702. Our phone number is 713-391-4410. And our website is securityguardtrainingtexas.com. If you like the content of the video, you hit the thumbs up. If you want to follow us as a, as a subscriber, thank you so much. It, was, it helps us in many ways. And like I said, there's a lot of new information out there. Please go through the description below. Look at everything. If Even if you're looking for uh, how the fingerprint process work with the state as well, registering your license with the state after you receive your training certificate, that information will be below too as well. Hope your day is going great. Thank you so much.